In Matthew chapter 23, Jesus sharply criticized the scribes and Pharisees for their hypocrisy. They claimed to be experts at interpreting and keeping the Torah, but he cited multiple examples of their moral failure and spiritual blindness. During this diatribe, Jesus discussed the issue of tithing. In Matthew chapter 23, verse 23, he said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you tithe mint and dill and cumin and have neglected the weightier matters of the law, justice and mercy and faithfulness. These you ought to have done without neglecting the others. The parallel account in Luke chapter 11, verse 42, says essentially the same thing. Jesus commended them for carefully tithing the smallest of garden herbs, but scolded them for neglecting justice and the love of God. It is relatively easy to tithe large items like sheep or cattle or storage jars of wine and olive oil. But tithing small quantities of herbs and spices requires extra effort and attention to detail. They had been zealous to obey God in tiny matters, but had neglected big issues that God emphasized throughout the Old Testament. Jesus endorsed the practice of tithing because he kept God's Torah commandments and encouraged others to do the same. The fact that Matthew and Luke included his endorsement of tithing in their gospel accounts shows that the early Christian church also encouraged Christians to tithe. Throughout the New Testament, Jesus and the apostles accepted and used the Torah as an authoritative moral guide. Some people claim that tithing only applied to the Jews during the Old Covenant. They say that Christ abolished the law of Moses, including tithing, when the New Covenant replaced the Old Covenant. They incorrectly assume that God's law and the Old Covenant are the same thing. They are not. God's law exists because it comes from God Almighty, not from a particular covenant. The Bible shows that God gave His law to Adam and Eve after the fall. For example, God accepted Abel's sacrifice, but He warned Cain not to sin. Genesis also says that Noah was righteous, but the rest of the world was wicked, so there must have been a universal moral standard prior to the flood. The Torah says that Abraham kept God's laws long before Moses, Israel, or the Old Covenant even existed. In Genesis chapter 26, verse 5, God said that, Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. The Torah also says that Abraham tithed before Moses, Israel, or the Old Covenant existed. Genesis chapter 14, verses 19 and 20, says that Melchizedek blessed Abram and that Abram gave him a tenth of everything. Later, God changed Abram's name to Abraham. Tithing is one of God's Torah commandments. It existed prior to the Old Covenant and isn't limited just to the Jews. God's law exists because of God's sovereign authority. It does not depend on the Old Covenant for its existence. God included His law in the Old and New Covenants as the basic definition of right and wrong for His people.